Tonight, a scuffle at a high school baseball game has some people crying foul. An 18 year old Pike Central High School player now faces an assault charge. Witnesses say he punched a player on the opposing team, so now school leaders and prosecutors are investigating. Monique Blair is at the live desk for us with a story that is new at 11. Monique? A shortstop punches a base runner from the opposing team during a high school baseball game. Now that shortstop faces criminal charges after it was all caught on camera. Uh, oh, oh, my God! Oh, my God! A high school baseball game between Pike Central and Lawrence County Tuesday night ended early after Pike Central shortstop Brad Elkins allegedly punched a Lawrence County base runner, knocking him to the ground. And Wednesday morning, that player's father decided to press charges against Elkins. He's remorseful for his actions. Of course, he wishes it hadn't happened. Um, it's a mistake, you know, and, and unfortunately he's having to deal with it right now. Lawrence County school officials say the player went to the hospital to be treated for his injuries. And now 18-year-old Elkins faces a second-degree assault charge, which is a felony. This is different than just your typical average uh, ball game fracas spat uh, that we see sometimes. Uh, this crosses the line into criminal behavior. Pike Central High School's principal says Elkins has been a model student athlete for four years and has never been in any trouble before this. Elkins has the catch. Elkins stays on his feet. He's an outstanding student athlete here at our school. He plays all three sports. And, you know, and it was a big district rival. And, and not that we condone what happened, but I think in the, in the battle sometimes, you know, he lost his composure and he made a, a, a bad mistake. Brad Elkins was arrested today and booked at the, at the Pike County Detention Center. He bonded out shortly after he was booked. He recently signed on to play football at Union College. At the live desk, Monique Blair, WKYT. Monique, thank you. The Lawrence County baseball coach says the 17-year-old player who was punched did not have any broken bones and went home from the hospital last night.